I'm going to go ahead and record this. So welcome everybody to the introductory session for the upcoming Creating a User's Manual for Life and Love. And those dimensions are basically, when I say for life and love, I'm basically saying, you know, a user manual that helps you to get to know yourself and what you want from life and love about your relationships. So we'll be diving into that soon. Looks like we still have more and more people coming. And um, before we do that, though, I would love if we could all just, um, everybody just take a pose with your body describing sort of how you're feeling in this moment. Look around, if you have your camera on, it could be nice to put your camera on so we can see you. Seeing a lot of openness. And now um, everybody take a pose with your body to describe when you think about uh, your experience with like really fulfilling, happy, authentic, juicy relationships. Like where are you at in the world of relationships? It could be like, oh my God, or like, it's all good. Whatever, describe in your body. How does your relationship life feel right now? <laughs> I see, hey, some, some of you are starting to make out. Okay, great. <laughs> some people hiding under the covers. Some um, jumping up and down, some crossed out, self-protective from all the crap we've had happen, you know, some just giving themselves some, some self-love. I love it. So a whole variety of experiences. Well, um, so I'll start off by just saying that my experience has been um, really, really an interesting journey. I'm sure all of our, all of our journeys have been fascinating. And so um, hopefully in the upcoming class, there'll be a chance for you to have some breakout rooms and share a bit more of your specific journey. Um, but my journey was in, in high school, it was sort of high school, high school, high school boy, uh, trying to sleep, you know, party uh, life, to trying to sleep with um, as many women as possible, <laughs> and get affirmation from that. And then I, um, and then I found Jesus, <laughs> I got into religion. And I kind of went through this whole big period uh, that really climaxed in my actually getting my master's in theology, and just swinging to this other extreme of like, you know, sex is, it's okay, but it's really just for marriage and relationships, you know, really need to be kind of um, all about serving God. And, and I, in some ways, I still think, depending on how we look at what God is, that's still a beautiful foundation for a relationship. And during that time, I met a woman, I was actually preaching on the streets, I was singing gospel on the streets. <laughs> People don't know this story. And I met my uh, former wife, who ended up being my wife for 24 years, of which I shared a child with. And we had overall a really beautiful relationship. She's a wonderful person, Anna. Um, and, but we did not have some, we, we shifted our core values. You know, they started off very much like this, particularly while we were in the spiritual world, the, the Venn diagram overlap was strong. And then slowly, core values really started to shift. And from that perspective, like, that wasn't allowed. Like you had to stay together till death do us part, no matter what. And so I basically had a, a 10 year decision of trying to decide whether to divorce as I was learning about alternative relationship lifestyles and myself, and also really being honest about how um, a lack of fulfillment there was in our, the sexual dimension of our relationship. And no matter how many times we tried, um, there just was something that wasn't quite a fit. And, um, and so it was the hardest decision in my life. But in order to get there to that decision, I realized when I was on a 12 day uh, vision quest that I needed to first marry myself. How could I decide if I was going to be in this marriage if I didn't know who the I really was? If I didn't really know who this person that wanted to uh, make big commitments to other people, who, who he was, what his dreams were, what his goals were, what his values were, how he communicated, how he loved. And so I went on a big quest um, that's very much related to this course that I'll be teaching and talking about today in brief of what really was a, a quest of, of falling in love with myself. 
Now, I know that that could be heard in sort of a, a narcissistic kind of way, you know, like, oh, you're so in love with yourself. But there is a way that that can be narcissistic. And that is a shadow side that can happen, of course, when, when our circle of love is too focused on ourselves. But if it's true love, if it's the kind of love that's aligned with our bliss and our values and our passion, then what's going to happen is that that circle around ourselves will start to expand more and more and more and more to those we love, our friends, our family, and eventually, if you believe this, even our enemies, even the people that we think um, are different than us or that could be against us. And so I have found that that has been true. As I made that commitment to myself, uh, not that I don't still have tons of growth um, areas, but people have felt in me a certain clarity and magnetism of the truth in that I'm aligned with myself. And so when I did finally make that decision and when I did finally marry myself, and that's a whole long story and process in itself, um, I eventually came to a clarity that I wasn't in alignment anymore with um, my previous partner. And even though I had given some options for how we could maybe do that, and it, and it was a hard decision, but it really was important for me to be true to the first marriage, the marriage of our soul, the sacred marriage. People have many different phrases for how they would describe this, this inner marriage. But for now, I'll call it the sacred marriage, the marriage to the beloved, the, your higher self, your deeper self that's in union with great mystery. So in the process of that, which involved many different things, you know, counseling and medicine work and men's group work and um, a lot of writing and thinking, um, a lot of documents started to come out of this, a lot of writing that got crystallized. And if you were on the description um, of the, I mean, the uh, discussion page for this event, you may have saw that I shared one of the documents. In some ways, I would say that's really my core document. When you marry somebody else, what do you do? You create a set of vows, right? A lot of people, I've married about five people before, they put that off to the last week, which is kind of ridiculous because this is what you're saying is sort of the container of agreements for your relationship. So it came really clear to me, like, why will we make a contract with a business? We'll make a, an, a set of agreements or a contract of, and vows with another person, but why aren't we doing that for ourselves? Why aren't we saying, this is my rock foundation for how I want to live my life and connect in the world? And so that's what this set of, of um, vows, which was my foundational document in the user manual was about, was these life vows. I don't think we'll probably have time to get into that today. You can look at it both on the event description page. You can see my example. And those of you that signed up for the free authentic intimacy site, you can, um, you can find that and other documents there. I'm realizing right now, as I look around the room, that I started off with an assumption of people even knowing anything about who the heck I am. And I'm now seeing in the room, there's at least a third or half of you who don't know. So my apologies for that. And I wanted to say some very, very basic things. My name is Leif Hansen. You can also call me Leif Hansen um, or Leif on the tree of life or Lee if, whatever you want. I'm still in process there. The name change cap happened during my vision quest. And um, so I... Um, have had my business Spark Interaction since about 2007. So I guess I'm on my 15 year anniversary now. I do a mixture of international speaking, um, training for corporations, doing leadership development, uh, customer service trainings, creativity training, team building and things like that. But my favorite, favorite work is when I get to work with people individually doing personal and professional development. On the professional development side, I help facilitators and teachers and coaches um, get their businesses going and be more interactive and playful and creative with their work. And on the personal development side, I'm focusing a lot more on this authentic intimacy work, but I also just do some general life coaching or aliveness coaching, as I like to call it. So that's a bit about me. I'm here in Hawaii. Um, on this call right now is also my primary partner and sweetheart, uh, Freya, who some of you know, and she's waving right there. And um, just out of curiosity, nice Freya, See ya. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mute you all, but um, except for Freya, if you could unmute yourself, would you, would you maybe say a few words about like, was it, we was it weird for you to have this guy who you started dating be like, here is this user manual to like learn about and, and how, what was the impact for you about that? And how was that for you? Cause, cause Freya and I started 
dating in a time where, and more seriously dating in a time where I was actually in three other partnerships. And um, so it was a really complex time that sort of didn't end up, I realized being sustainable for me, even though all those relationships were very conscious and clear and loving and you know, no hard feelings in any of them. Um, they, they've all shifted in different places, but um, Freya, do you wanna say something about that? <laughs> sure. Hey, everybody. Let me switch the camera. Hi, everyone. Good to see you all here. So many familiar faces. Um, yeah, I, like, like Life said, I became, we connected at a time where it was seemingly complicated and he had many other beloveds and, um, and he all of a sudden sends me, emails me this long, extensive, <laughs> detailed, um, yeah, like contract, um, or not oh, a contract, contract. But just a, a manual, a manual <laughs> of like everything, everything about him, like, like from sexual health to his core values to just anything I would want to know for safety. Um, and it provided a lot of trust and a lot of transparency where there was gray areas. And that kind of planted a seed for um, sinking deeper into a, ah, maybe like my nervous system um, relaxed in receiving it and reading it. And, and I was like, wow, he has nothing to hide. And therefore that just brought trust and safety. And that was, the main, the main takeaway from that. Um, mm. Yeah. Thank you so much, Freya. And uh, thanks for letting me put you on the spot there. <laughs> um, yeah, I had a tiny cringe with the word contract, but- Sorry, baby. <laughs> I know, I know, Sorry. No, it's hilarious. <laughs> You must sign <laughs> this document in blood and know- You are mine. You are mine forever. <laughs> um, no, definitely, you know, I mean, whatever we, the word contract might mean to somebody, but you know, it, and you'll call it, you know, the, the idea, I want to make something really clear, by the way, um, those of you that do end up taking this course, um, I'm not at all saying there's a right way to do it. This is ideally just inspiring you, whether you want to call it a user's manual, an operating manual, a contract, <laughs> um, a, an art piece that you share with other people. But the main point of this is an opportunity for you to really be honest with yourself about who you are and what you want. And that might mean saying, I don't know. It might be the humility of just admitting like, hey, I'm in a season of life right now where I don't really know what I want and I'm just sort of exploring relationally or I'm just sort of learning about my values. But it's a chance for you to be honest with yourself, to be really alive in that authenticity, that humility, and the loving thing is to be able to be vulnerable enough to share that with other people. So, um, yeah, so I, I, um, I, I it's, it's awkward to say this, but I'm going to just say it. I am living most of the time in bliss. I'm, I'm like literally most of the time incredibly grateful and happy and feeling relationally fulfilled. Um, yes, it's very much in part the people that have come in my life, it's grace, it's privilege, it's luck, it's entitlement, it's work, it's who knows all the different factors. But I can tell you for sure that one of the factors was doing this work of the inner marriage. And a matter of fact, speaking of that, I think there's at least one person, if not a, you know, two or three of you here, Jamie, I know for sure, um, who went through a self-marriage retreat and ceremony. We had 20, 20 and 25 people in Hawaii who went through a self-marriage ceremony with me. And part of it was looking at some of these, these self-vows. So um, let me just give, um, let's just pause for one second and do another just stretch, stretch yourself, maybe even close your eyes and just sort of feel into your heart what that brings up for you. Maybe if it brings up for you some excitement about creating this document or fear or defensiveness or who knows, just notice and honor all the feelings that might come up when you imagine the idea of really 
honoring yourself in that way and create and getting clear on who you are and what you want and marrying yourself. Like that's the fucking foundation of this whole thing is that deep falling in love with yourself and what you create out of that, what kind of life and relationships. Um, what I'd like to do just really briefly before I go into the program is just a super quick, just because I, you know, those of you know, my, my business Spark Interaction is all about creating connections and interactions. So even though this is a really, really uh, short meeting, um, I would love to have you all in breakouts of about, I think, three people, two or three people, and just each person to sort of share um, what comes up for you when you think about this idea of both marrying yourself and also like creating some, a user manual or some documents. So each person, if you could have a timer, maybe about one minute, we'll just do this for two or three minutes. And do, 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 close that. Breakout rooms. All right, here we go. Uh, you're muted. Hey, yeah, babe. Yeah. Can you put me back in that breakout room? My my thing. Sure. Shut down. Who, who were you with? Do you know? Jamie, and then someone who was muted and also no camera. I don't know that person's name, but whatever room Jamie's in. Okay, it's just saying. Hmm. Breakout room three, maybe. Yeah, but it's saying you just need to click join. It's saying Freya not. Oh. I don't have an invite because I was in the room and then I left the room. Hmm. Um, I think I might need oh. to put you in a different room if you don't see that then. Okay. Hey, Heidi, everybody's in uh, breakout rooms right now, but they'll be back in about one minute. Um, can you hear me? Not sure if you can hear me, Heidi, but if you can switch your uh, mic on and um,
and you can join us. Uh, everybody will be back from the breakout rooms in a Hey, Katrina, Katrina and Christina. Say that 10 times fast. Katrina, Christina, Christina, Christina. Ah, not easy. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, people will be forced to come back in about 30 seconds. We will force them to come back. Um, I'm probably going to have to dip soon because I'm actually at work right now. So. Um, duty calls to be present when people check in and stuff. So hey, but no it's been nice hearing what you have to say. Thank you. It's just, I love these new fresh ideas. For Thanks sure. so much, and I'll look Katrina. into more of what you have. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. And today's meeting will, will be recorded. So these last 10 minutes that you um, miss, you can always go back and check out if you have to leave for, for work. Thank you, um, everybody who uh, just participated. Hey, participated in those breakouts. I hope you got a little taste of meeting someone new and hearing some of their story. Um, obviously, you'll get to go deeper with other people um, in the course. Um, and so since our time is short, we just have another um, uh, about five technical minutes, but I'll, I'll be happy to go over another five, 10 minutes for questions if people have it. Um, I want to just talk a bit about the course itself. So as you can imagine, because um, I found this process so helpful for me, um, and when I talked to other people, found them inspired, I was like, I want to get this idea out there. It's become so, um, as I said in the description, it's almost become crazy to me that we don't all have these kinds of documents, that we don't have some sort of thing that just says, um, not just I'm committing to a person or a business, but like I'm committing, committing to myself in these ways. And so that's the impetus behind this course. Um, a number of you have messaged me that you're very interested in the course. Um, one of the main questions that comes up is how can we possibly do all this in two hours? So let me make it clear. We are not going to be creating your entire manual in those two hours. What we're gonna be doing is with this course, what you get is you get a two hour, either virtual like this or in person, if you live in Hawaii, a two hour course, in which I will walk you through the actual user's manual template itself. And you'll see as we walk through, uh, for example, some of the topics, um, boo, boo, boo. Um, uh, you saw one of them, probably the, what, I, what I would consider the, the foundational piece. Um, you will be going into how do you come up with sort of these, these life vows for yourself. But the other topics will be about your relationship goals and kind of how you would describe your status these days to people that we're asking. Um, your ideal partner checklist. What are sort of the inner circle non-compromise and the outer circle? Uh, this would be ideal, but I could compromise versus just like the whatever. What are your personal boundaries or rules? What are your absolute no's? Um, what are some tips and agreement and questions that you can ask partners about making agreements together? What are some things to really get clear on? For example, with me in any kind of relationship, there's three core agreements, one around sexual health disclosure, one around emotional safety and making sure that each other knows if anything's changing in terms of the emotional attachment, if there is um, that agreement. And then about spiritual safety has to do with my foundation of love, which is that um, we would honor each other's core journey with our soul above even our own relationship that that's the foundational love is I want your soul to uh, bloom and unfold as fully as possible. And that creates a safety in that relationship for it to ab adapt and grow. Um, so those kind of tips with agreements, uh, your communication styles and preferences, your sort of sexual code, your desires, your kinks, 
your sexual health. So that's like some of the examples of some of the things that you may or may not choose to have in your user manual. Again, there's no one right way to do this. You get to decide um, whether or not and how, whether it's a piece of art or whatever that you do this or an audio recording or who knows. So how it works is that we will have, you'll get membership to an online course that has some existing resources and the template for the manual itself. You will have the two hour course. And then just today, I've actually decided to add an extra hour to the course, not at that time, but an optional uh, between two and four weeks. There'll be an hour for people to come together for accountability, for support, for Q and A, um, to share our results. And so there'll be an extra hour for us to come together and just kind of say, how, it's, how is it going? So you, um, so you get that, um, you get access to the group, um, the Spark um, Authentic Intimacy group page, which has a discussion forum. It has an interactive task manager, so you can add steps for yourself or I can add actions to you. You get, um, you get my user manual to use sort of as like a template of like, well, how did this freaky guy do it? And see if it works for you or not. Um, you also get a copy of my uh, Divine Play Formation cards. There's an audio affirmation, um, MP3. Um, and then there's going to be support groups, Spark groups, for those of you that want to, by topic or by region, will have the, the, the tool that I'm using, UpCoach, allows you to organize, self-organize yourself into groups that want to support each other around certain parts of the user manual. So my goal really isn't just to like, hey, here's some ideas, go do it. I understand that we're all busy and that these things take um, accountability, they take support, they take ideas. And so that's why I've put together this interactive um, Spark group. Um, I, I was surprised to see that 30 of you actually have already signed up for the free one. So that was really cool. When you join the paid class, I will then shift you over into the paid one that has more resources. Um, what does that page look like? Let me just do a quick little sh uh, share screen of the free one so you can kind of see. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Are you guys able to see my shared screen? Give me a nod or two. Okay, great. So um, how it works on this, on this side here is sort of your table of contents. You can pop down and go like, what are my action steps right now? And I, I can see everybody's action steps. We can put to do's there. Um, so there's like a announcements, like today's Zoom call that I'll be act, um, a activating. There's a welcome video to the page. There's link to upcoming courses, um, of which I can speak about the other courses soon. Uh, there's a sample of my self-marriage vows for that one document. There's upcoming live events. There's other websites like a life wheel, self-love quiz. Uh, some of you are familiar with Miss Jaya's sexual blueprint quiz. You can get that link there. And then for the paid course, you'll have your courses here and discussion forum will have more than just introductions and other sort of uh, support files. Um, collaborative working group if you want. And my manual and the smart doc is a template and that's where I'll be putting sort of an interactive document that you get to start answering questions and fill in to create your user manual. So that's what happens uh, with the paid version. Um, I'll just do the last little plug of that right now. And that is to say that I'm making this super affordable for people. Um, there's an early, early bird price that ends at the end of today. And that's 75. There's an early bird price that goes for one more week. And that's 95. And then the normal price is 125. So um, if you go into the Facebook event description, you'll see the PayPal link there um, and also the Venmo link. And I will, um, during the Q&A time, I'll also put those links in there now. But I wanna, because we're at the end of our time and I know some of you need to go, I wanna stop that screen share. And I wanted to say, go ahead and uh, if you have a question, please click the little, um, the little reactions button. And there's a button that says raise hand, or if you just wanna raise your physical hand, I will also try and see you. And if you need to go now, thank you so much for coming on. This, I, I really hope that you guys can trust my, my desire in this really is for people to, to have 
inspired lives, like to feel fully alive and to feel beautifully connected in their relationships and to be able to have beautiful communication and to filter out a lot of the relationships that just don't work, not because people are bad, but just because our trauma bodies and our goals aren't in alignment with each other. It's not like someone's bad or you're bad. It's just, we're looking for people who are really aligned with our soul's calling. And that's my desire is to help facilitate that. So if you need to go now, thank you so much for coming on. And if you want to stay on for just some chit chat um, and questions, then feel free to stay on. And I'll now be typing some stuff in the chat and I'm looking around to see if there are any questions. Oh, actually, I do want to say one last little plug. And that is the authentic intimacy, the way, so my business is Spark Interaction. The series of offerings is authentic intimacy. So it's sort of in the personal relationships realm. This particular offer about the user's manual is one. Freya and I are also going to be doing a workshop called Silly, Sexy, Sacred. And it's about bringing those three dimensions of, of fun, of sexiness, and the sacredness into your relationship. And we also are offering um, authentic intimacy sessions where we bring a mixture of sound healing and touch and arrows in a container and, um, and other sort of uh, shamanic energetic practices. So that's something that we are doing together to try and bring the masculine and feminine in for healing and empowerment. And then lastly, Ruthann and I are gonna be doing one about making powerful requests. So um, how do you actually like make requests without that sort of getting shut down and afraid and doing it in a way that inspires other people. So that's the last little promote part. I'll put the links um, in the chat and please raise your hand if you have a question or comment. And if you just wanna keep looking sexy and lovely, that's great too. <laughs> Any questions about the course or about the manual itself? And if I'm missing anyone, please let me know. You can even just go ahead. I would just say if anyone wants to just go ahead and unmute yourself, whether that's to ask a question or share appreciation to somebody or flirt with somebody, just kidding, <laughs> you could, um, or just uh, whatever you want to do, feel free to mute yourself to say goodbye or ask a question or whatever you'd like. I'm going to unmute myself and just say thank you so much for this. I feel really moved because it got me thinking about ways that I can like put my kind of core values like lower down on the priorities list in my relationships and just even the thought of like taking the time to think about them and like elucidate what I really need in my life and to like just have hours of, of my life where I really bring that to the forefront. Like even just that was a healing for me. So I want to thank you for putting this out there and um, I'm going to go so I can clean my kitchen so I can come over and hang out with you guys. And I'll oh, see you guys. That, yes. Isabel, come on over. Thank you, you so much. I'm really mm -hmm. glad that you got that value out of it already. E yeah. And even if that's all anyone got today was just that simple uh, inspiration to really honor yourself and your core values. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'll come nice. off. I just want to say. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Life, I just want to say thank you so much. And I just appreciate, you know, where you're coming from and sharing your own life experiences and reminding us to prioritize our own values and our own desires and goals. It's a really beautiful concept to create a user manual. And uh, thank you so much for, for sharing that. I look mm -hmm. forward to it. My pleasure. I yeah. actually do have a question as yeah. well. Um, for the Hawaii in person, is that gonna be like one day where everybody in Hawaii kind of gathers or are these like private sessions? How are you setting that up? Yeah. Yeah. It's an in-person thing. So it'll be the same, probably, like, honestly, it'll probably go a little bit longer, um, probably more in the two to three hour range, but it's formally for two hours. I'm about, uh, if you may have noticed, I just put TBA as terms of destination, but I'm almost sure that it will be here at Kumakahi community. Um, and I think it will work out really nice because it's, it will be, right before the organic ecstatic um, uh, drum and dance that's happening here. So you could come out for those two hours, 
hang out with us together in the arc, work on this, and then dance and drum. <laughs> Is it going to be the seventh or just one of the, the weeks? Uh, it will be the seventh, the same day. Yeah. So it will be about, uh, I think I posted it like half an hour or an hour after the virtual session. Cool. Yeah. Thanks for asking. Any other questions or comments before checking out? I was going to say something, Leif. I, okay, I've uh, watched cool. you grow, and I'm just mm -hmm. so glad that you're diving in deeper with this. Um, I was with you a couple of years ago through the pandemic, which created other, um, you know, logistic problems, but you overcame through that too and uh, got us all together in Port Townsend. And I really appreciate everything that you do. I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Dana. And I just want to celebrate Dana as being someone who has been so supportive and was in um, a retreat that I did in Port Townsend and uh, another um, self-love um, course that was lasting multiple months that we actually ended early, but was someone who really showed up with just really models a lot of love and um, has gone through major changes in her life. So thank you too, Dana. I will say though that, you know, I'm getting a little older. So I, occasionally I'll, I'll be on with an older person and there's another dynamic that you don't know about communication without speaking might give you an idea because they can't hear what you need <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's it kind of funny but it's it's also frustrating so uh yeah i just thought i put that out there no thank you i hear both the the frustration of that and, and in some ways maybe i'm not sure if this is your saying but the opportunity of that you know i've had some very beautiful tantric deep non-talking connections with Freya, with you know when the opportunity to be like you know what Words are just words. How can we really drop in deeper together? Any other I'll, last questions, comments? I'll, yes, Freya. I'll say something. Um, I'm sure during this like time of like Zoom and all these courses coming out online, we take them. And then what I like is that you added a step, like another hour of accountability and having people um, kind of check in with you because I, I know I take these courses and do all these like online learnings and I get really amped and pumped and then I just I my follow through is a little weak so having that new additional um time and space to like have that have someone check in with me or have group support um is is a really great feature I like that you added that mm -hmm. Thanks, Priya. Yeah, that was, honestly, it was actually just like a two hours ago. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you were doing that, so. Yeah. Thanks, Priya. Love you. <laughs> we'll take uh, any final comment. I know sometimes people feel share, uh, a little more shy to share a question or comment. Um, you can also- so shy. <laughs> yeah, Amy. Oh, yeah, I just want to say I love you and I you've helped me transform my life in so many ways through the self-marriage uh, ceremony and retreat. And yeah, it was such a powerful moment and shift in my life. And so I'm really excited to, to continue diving in with you and in this beautiful community. So thank mm. you. Kim. Thank you, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Love you so much too. And I'll say one little fun plug for Jamie uh, related to the self-marriage was um, of all the people who did it, Jamie decided to do hers live on Facebook. <laughs> so she like, that was super gutsy. And, um, and so, uh, I guess that could be available if you're curious how she did it and what her vows were. But yeah, if you choose to join this course, Jamie, I would love to support you in putting that and, and even more of those documents together. Mm -hmm. But thank you for, yeah, it's obvious from what I've seen in the community and on social media, how totally activated you are. Even being invited onto podcasts and potential reality shows about your self-marriage. Holy crap. Has that gone anywhere? Not, yeah, not quite yet. Um, we'll podcast. see. Okay, yeah, cool. Uh -huh. Well, tell me if it does. I will. Any other, any other last questions, comments? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say thanks uh, for bringing this together, Leif, and um, and thanks for everybody for being so brave around the taboo topics. And uh, 
And um, it's reminding me of some of my self-awakening that I went through, uh, you know, about five years ago now. But mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, uh, it sounds like a grand um, invite. And so thank, thanks to everybody. Beautiful. Thank you, Ray. And, and Heather, I just saw your note there coming on. It's recorded, so don't worry. You can go back and get it. And if, this obviously isn't the full course. This was just a little teaser introduction. So uh, we'll be going into it more. So I'm going to take this recording, and I'm going to post it um, on the free uh, membership site page. Um, I think you all know how to access that. I'll really quickly put that link in the chat now just in case. But you can find it on the... Um, Facebook event, and we will, let's end with one last little thing together. There's the link to join the uh, free membership site. So last thing together, raise your hands up, slowly wrap them back down, and give yourself a big, Juicy hug. I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining all you guys. We'll see you soon. Hope to see you on the course.